I'm Natasha Lubchenko with today's CT Style Express. Being diagnosed with cancer is life altering, and if you dream of having a family one day, it can cause major obstacles. But the good news is, at a local fertility center, there are specialized options available. I spoke with a patient about her success story. Take a look. In very dark times, I think it gives people hope and that's important. Ooh, sorry. Liana Brusso fights back tears as she explains the impact the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services has had on her life. The 36 year old is eight months pregnant with her second daughter, something she considers a miracle. When I was 34, I got diagnosed um, with breast cancer. Um, and I had a six month old daughter. But fertility didn't immediately come to mind. You're thinking about where you're at right now and just surviving. But if, if having a family is important to you, which for me and my husband, it was a priority, um, then it's important to like seek options because there are options and it really only delayed my treatment a few weeks. This is why she came here to the center, which has locations around the state. It's really important when they have their diagnoses made, they speak to their doctors immediately about fertility preservation before they start treatment because that treatment, which often can involve a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and or radiation can have a negative effect on fertility. Dr. Riva Makijani explains how time is of the essence in these situations and that cancer patients who call for a consultation can be seen within 24 to 48 hours. In Connecticut, fertility preservation for cancer is covered by most insurances and um, we also participate in other programs like Live Strong that can provide financial assistance for fertility preservation treatment and our um, nurses are very skilled at helping you navigate that process and get those things covered. And in Liana's case, the center was even able to ensure she didn't pass the genetic mutation that caused her cancer onto her daughter. We wanted to make sure we did genetic testing so that we knew that the baby didn't have um, the BRCA gene. Leaving her with just one embryo. And after multiple rounds of chemo and surgery to remove her ovaries, she was able to have IVF. For us, being able to help these people achieve their goals regardless of the circumstances is really so rewarding and um, I really can't imagine having a better job. And Liana has a special message for her doctors. I just appreciate you more than you could possibly know because you've completed our families. So. Such an incredible story. Liana is now cancer free and says she can't wait for her daughter to meet her new sister. If you'd like to learn more about fertility options, visit yukonfertility.com. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko.